Boomco Burst Wave review. This blaster is a Boomco blaster. It fires Boomco darts. It's not compatible with Nerf darts. This blaster is an air gun, so you pump it up, and then it's a shotgun, which fires four Boomco darts simultaneously as a shotgun spread. And it has three cylinders, so you rotate through. Um, so you fire three times before you have to reload. Included is the blaster with one of the cylinders detached for shipping purposes, some darts, the instructions, and some targets. Installing the third cylinder, easy enough. So going over the external, starting in the front up here, there are three cylinders. Each of them hold four darts, so you can hold 12 darts ready to fire at any point. And to load, you just push in the dart like that. One cylinder can hold four darts, and it fires them simultaneously. It doesn't single fire each one of these. It will fire all four at once as a shotgun. It fires from the top, so after you fire that, you rotate manually to the next cylinder like that. Rotation mech could be a little bit more confirming in the ready-to-go position because you can't really tell unless you look. Um, but other than that, it, it rotates smoothly. Moving up to the top, there's a Boomco tack rail for their shields or any other attachments you want. Down here, there are ammo holders on both sides of the blaster. They hold four Boomco darts. Down here is the pump. This is an air blaster. Uh, it doesn't have batteries or like a, a manual spring or anything to pump. You, you do this like every other pump ever. Uh, the manual says three pumps. Um, I found slightly better performance out of four. Um, if you pump it 25 times, it's not going to shoot better than four. But if you pump it one or two times, there's not as much uh, pressure in the chamber, so your range is gonna be reduced. I would recommend pumping it four times every time. And that's really because if one stroke isn't optimal, um, you're, you're, you know you're getting max pressure. Moving back, this is where your pump is actually housed, but there's no operation or rail or anything down here to the grip. It's uh, pretty comfortable. I'm an adult and I know I complain about grips a lot, but this one's oversized and pretty comfortable, um, yet it's not alienating to a small hand. It is a kind of a weird, unique blaster, but that's a Boomco blaster for you. That being said, it's not uncomfortably weird. It's just kind of weird and, I mean, come on, you have a, a four-barrel shotgun thing with a pump. This is a goofy-looking blaster. The trigger ergonomics are, are comfortable, but it is an air gun, so if you uh, slowly creep on the trigger, your performance is going to drop. I would recommend pulling it very quickly, and that's going to give you a better air release, um, which results in better range and performance. More on that in my opinion, but then moving up, you also have a little lanyard mount here. So again, you just front load the barrel, lock in to whatever is loaded, pump it four times, and then fire. So firing this blaster is a whole lot of fun. Um, I was not expecting much because most shotguns are not very good out of like nerf and dart guns because they usually have really terrible range. This is shooting just as far as other Boomco blasters, but it's shooting four darts at one time. The grouping of the darts referring to how big the spread is when you're, when you're shooting at somebody, are all four darts gonna hit at the same point or are they gonna spread 20 feet? That sort of varies on the trigger pull. As I mentioned, when you, when you pull the trigger very quickly, uh, you get a better air release and you have a slightly tighter group, um, but you also shoot a little bit further. So I would always recommend that if you pull very slowly Slowly, the last barrel uh, shoots a little bit slower, so your grouping kind of spreads out. You can have a philosophical argument for hours on what is the optimal shotgun spread, but I'm comfortable with this spread. I think it's great. I would say it's much better to guarantee a shot on a single target, like a single person. It's not really great to shoot at like 30 different people all at once, expecting to hit all of them. Of course, with four darts, I don't know why you'd expect to hit 30 people, but you can see the groupings and make your own opinion from my firing test. So getting to my overall opinion on the burst wave, I was not expecting much from this blaster, but I really like it. Um, the spin sanity out of Boomco really surprised me and I was really amped for that. Um, this one follows in its footsteps. It's a great Boomco blaster. Overall usability and ergonomics are phenomenal. I think it looks really cool. It's a really cool concept to have a nice shotgun that's relatively small to, to almost guarantee a, a tag. Uh, when you shoot four darts at somebody, if you miss, your point of aim was just awful. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. Probably not as a primary because it only holds 12 darts and you only have three effective shots. Um, so it's not really optimal for primary or you're gonna be reloading most of the round. But you, you know, you throw a sling here as a little backup. So if someone gets close to you, four shots, it's almost a guaranteed tag. So definitely a positive opinion if you think a shotgun like this would fit your play style. Definitely recommend it. That is my review and opinion on the Boomco Burst Wave. Hopefully my review gave you all the information you need. If you're interested in purchasing one, there are buy links in the description box below. Keep in mind, if you buy through any of my Amazon buy links, you are helping me out and that would be much appreciated. That's the review in my opinion. Thanks for watching.